Welcome back to my uh, vSphere project. Uh, this is, I think, part 13 now, and this is about uh, DRS or the Distributed Resources Services. Um, DRS is all about uh, moving the the VMs if they violate or they constrain uh, one ESX. So, um, yes, uh, DRS is a good idea. Uh, to automatically move uh, a BM or manually move a BM um, so that it will not uh, you know uh, put one uh, e uh, host or ESX in jeopardy uh, to turn on the DRS um, by the way the DRS you can run it simultaneously with high availability so the benefits on running a uh, high availability and DRS at, at the same time is that uh, if high, uh, the, the HA first if identify that one of the hosts is isolated or the, the BM failed, it will uh, restart the, the, the BM on the other host. But with the combination of DRS, DRS will um, if one of the uh, some of the BMs or one of the BMs um, priority uh, uh, how do you call this one constrain constrain the CPU and 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 uh, the memory. So what will happen to this to this host is it, this will be in in bottleneck. So some of the uh, other BMs will be affected. And if it if that affected uh, if one of the affected BMs are in uh, you know this is a mission critical uh, application or server, you need to move that uh, immediately. So in this case, that's the functionality of the DRS. It will automatically uh, pull them or or move them to the to the uh, not busy uh, ESX. In this case, we will not turn off HA. We will just turn on DRS. So they're running side by side, and the uh, reconfiguration is just quick. On the background, I created another uh, BM, which is also Windows 2003. Um, it's uh, I just clone, I uh, just copy it from the our template, of course. Uh, in here we have a 2003 template. I just copy it from there, and. Um, I name it server one. It's also Windows 2003. I don't have a cloning yet for Linux. Um, I will demonstrate that on a future uh, demonstration, and also, of course, about how to clone and how to do sys prep. Uh, but that will uh, that will be on another topic. Okay. Um, I think uh, if we check ESX one, it's still performing well, although. There are about uh, f two server, so let's move all of them. Um, but before moving them, let's see first the characteristics of DRS. So um, it's fully automa uh, automated. So what we can do for now is just let's 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 do it manually, so that we can see it on the background, and there's no rule yet virtual machines uh, power management uh, no we don't need that because all of this is is is, is anyway <laughs> running on a workstation workstation 7 this is a fake ESX okay so that's the settings we need to do that for now so uh, let's uh, run it uh, manually so let's move all of them to ESX 1 so that ESX1 will get uh, constrained or will get into the bottleneck. Okay, I move all of them to the ESX1 and let's see uh, the DRS. And when you click the DRS, it should give you the DRS recommendation. So, what we can do is run the DRS. And let's see if there's some kind of uh, recommendation that you know this this uh, BM 
need to be moved out because this horse is already um, constrained um, ESX1 is still performing well although it's running uh, it's running 4 BMs and there's no uh, <laughs> there's no constraint yet so um, probably what we can do is to uh, hog the CPU so that it will recommend and what we can do is um, run a utility called CPU hog which you can just download uh, free on the internet just search on Google or, or Bing so I'm running this CPU hog and let's really see if it's uh, the CPU load is 100% so you can see it's really 100% so let's see if there's some kind of recommendation on the DRS wow that ESX uh, 1 is still handling the let's see uh, it's, it's manually and advanced option there's nothing and it's still running fine so let's hog another so to run this CPU hog or hog I don't know the pronunciation the right pronunciation on that one yet so it's just like this and when you click this one it will uh, eat up the CPU and I will run it on a Aha! Uh -huh. So when I click this one and it says the DRS recommendation is to uh, migrate the server one to from ESX1 to ESX2 and what you can do if you uh, if your setting is um, manual of course if it's fully automat uh, automated it's automatic and partially automated is uh, yeah, I think you need also some kind of intervention. It and and if it's really a uh, manual, then you need to apply this one so that the the the, 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 the recommendations will be uh, moved or migrated, which is migrating right now. So um, this is how the DRS runs. So uh, it's migrating. Let's see the uh, the VMs. So it, server one will be later on on ESX uh, three because that's what we applied here. After you click apply, of course, it will be clear here, and you will see the migration. So it's done. So uh, server one is in ESX two as. Uh, it was recommended did I say ESX3 I forget I have to <laughs> uh, rewind this 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 video but anyway um, so the advantage of DRS is uh, it, it 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 moves the BMs uh, when when it's just the 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 bottleneck on some of the CPU so what we can do now is we don't need to hug this CPU and stop it for now so um, the advantage is uh, if one of if the HA fail down and it moves the the BMs to another host and in that and that host is also in uh, in jeopardy or there's a constraint on the memory or CPU then uh, if you have DRS, then it the remain. If you have just two remaining uh, ESX, like in my case, I have three ESX, then it will distribute to the two, so that uh, one server is not handling you know a heavy load. And this will conclude my DRS um, video for now. Um, I was supposed to show you also the the B app, but um, that will be on my.